Merry Christmas morning, and uh, this is uh, Pastor Jeff Jones, and kind of a special message to uh, the church I pastor, uh, and uh, you're welcome to listen in to just a, just a Christmas message, and um, we'll be reading from Luke chapter 2. If you haven't been there last night or today already, I hope you can take just a few moments and listen to the Christmas story I'm going to read, and then just say just a little bit. And hope you've had a great day so far. And uh, we're celebrating the birth of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, it truly is a glorious gift, an, an unspeakable gift that has been given to us, uh, the Savior. And I uh, hope that you have trusted upon him today. So let's uh, read from Luke chapter 2. It says that it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is called, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them, into heaven the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a, in a manger. And when uh, they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them, uh, told unto them. There's a lot of different elements going on in the story, and a lot of times we get uh, lost in uh, some of the uh, minor characters of the story. Obviously, the angel's a big deal. He came and brought the announcement to the shepherds, and often we think about the shepherds, these common people that heard, and a lot to be made about the shepherds, and there's a lot to be made about Caesar Augustus. He's uh, the world leader at the time. He puts the world in motion. A lot to be said about Joseph and Mary. And, and uh, uh, you know, people talk about the innkeeper and the stable and the animals and all the things. But truly, the star of this story is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the gift of, to all mankind. And we think about the wondrous thing of Christmas is the gift of God's Son, Emmanuel, God with us. Uh, not just the fact that he came, was born, but that he was born to die from the cradle to the cross. Uh, he came uh, wrapped in flesh, and that flesh was uh, nailed to a cross. Uh, his blood was shed for all mankind. He's not willing that any should perish. And if you don't know Christ today, I encourage you to trust him today. The finished work of Christ on the cross it wasn't that he just led a sinless life as an example. He led the sinless life so he could be the sacrifice uh, for you and for me. He took our place. And so uh, we think about the gift of the Son. We think of the gift of salvation, the gift of forgiveness, the gift of peace uh, in our own hearts and in our own lives. And the true gift that he wants to bring to all mankind is peace on earth and goodwill towards men. But we're living in a world that is at uh, war with uh, each other. We're living in a world, I just read a headline even this Christmas morning, uh, we have a, a war on religious liberty 
in our own country. So we have a, a world that's at war with mankind, a war with God. And oftentimes we see this war even in ourselves, man against his, him, his own self. And so uh, I hope you understand this. The only way you have peace on earth is to have peace with God. Uh, to p have peace with man is to know the peace that passes all understanding. It comes only through the, the, the Son of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so uh, when we think about the gift, we think of, of the gift of the Lord, the gift 2,000 years ago, the gift that keeps giving, the gift that it has plenty for all. And so um, to my church people, I just want to tell you I love you. Thank you for your kindness to uh, my wife and I, our family, over this last year. And I know many of you have gone through enormous difficulties. And uh, we have seen uh, great heights of joy and we have seen, ridden the roller coaster of, uh, of difficulty. And uh, it has been a difficult uh, year to minister in, no doubt. Um, uh, at times I have been uh, tremendously frustrated that I couldn't do more for you and to be with you more. And uh, it's like pastoring from afar. And uh, I know it's been difficult on your side that, that uh, Maybe you've not gotten the encouragement that you need. Uh, you've not gotten the help at times that you need. And when we can't be there for each other, I want you to remember this, that God is there with us all the time. And uh, one of my favorite little phrases of the Bible is that God is able. And uh, he's thought of you today. He's thinking of you and your family. And uh, I pray that you know the peace in your heart today that comes from only uh, the knowledge of salvation in Christ. And I uh, hope you have a great uh, day with your family. Hope all the kids are uh, having a good time opening their presents. And I uh, look forward to being with you again. My prayer is that uh, 2021 will be a incredible time of uh, opportunity for us, uh, maybe in the face of difficulties. But we know this, that uh, Christ is able, that he is strong, that uh, he wants uh, his name to be glorified, and I want, I want to be a part of that. So I um, hope you have time maybe to read the, the Christmas story yourself. Uh, make time for the Lord in the day, and enjoy the day. It's a, a little bit of snow on the ground, and um, some of us uh, not able to be with all of our family members. It's because of the virus, and I know lots of you uh, struggling with that. It's not a typical Christmas for sure. Uh, and so, um, I think maybe this has been the norm more than, more than we care to think about, uh, when the world's been at war, um, and that's often, and people flung across all across the world, and, uh, if you have someone that's away, someone that's sick, uh, I want to, I'm going to pray in just a moment, and, uh, we're praying for them, praying, thank God for our service people, uh, and all the, the, the force, uh, armed forces. We thank God for our first responder people that are working today, frontline people, hospital uh, people. And uh, so uh, may God help them today. God bless you. Again, I, I love you. My wife and I just appreciate you beyond words. And uh, we want to be there for you as best we can. So let's pray and uh, Merry Christmas. Father, we do thank you for the fact that your son came, sent by you, motivate, motivated by your love for mankind. And we thank you for the gift of the Savior. We thank you, Lord, for his sinless life, Lord, the perfection uh, that he exhibited as he walked across this world. And in every situation, although tempted like as we are, uh, he stood sinless, ready to be offered, the absolute perfect lamb of God. His blood was shed. He shed it willingly. He laid down his life. He gave it up. And Lord, we thank you for the fact that again on the third day, he rose again. Lord, we celebrate the fact not just that Christ was born, uh, but also that he sits at the right hand of the Father. And Lord, we look forward to the day that he'll come back for his church. Lord, we look forward to the day that we'll be at peace uh, forevermore. And Father, I pray that uh, you bless the Heritage Baptist Church. I pray that you bless our people. Help us, Lord, to take great strides in the year ahead. Help us, Lord, to look for every opportunity to be a blessing and to be a help 
and to bring that peace to other people. Help us, Lord, to be an example of the believer in word and in deed and in thought. Lord, I pray that you'd help us, Lord, uh, to be faithful to you as, as you've been faithful to us. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Merry Christmas.